Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're playing Dark Age of Camelot. It is one of my favorite games next to EverQuest, and I wanted to go ahead and show you one of the most powerful classes in the game, which is a Necromancer. I played my Necromancer, I actually created him and showed you that character, but now he's higher level, he's level 16, and I wanted to show you what kind of power this class has. I want to do another video whenever he's around level 35, maybe show you some RVR, and then even higher up at level 50. But now, he is level 16, he's specifically Death Sight spec, which means that he has the ability to power tap, he also has a um, life tap as well, so the pet is the one who does the power tap, and the character is the one who does the life tap. Also, I have a heal over time, I have debuffs, and all kinds of niceness going on. And you'll see that I'm able to actually take on more than one mob at a time. I'm able to take on five mobs at a time in some cases, depending on what color con they are. Um, which means that if they are orange and below, I can take up to eight of them. If they are red and orange, I can probably take about four or five of them. And if they are purple, then I can probably take one of them. And it has to be a low level purple. It can't be a, it can't be a purple plus five kind of thing. It could be a purple plus two or a purple plus one. Which, if you don't play Dark Age of Camelot, you don't know what I mean. But whenever you click on a mob, they actually have pluses on them for how hard over the max uh, the max purple that they are. So purple one means that they are just outside of your range. But you could probably take them if you're a class that is able to take on mobs like I can. But if you take on a purple five then you're going to probably die. It's probably a level 50 mob, and you shouldn't have touched it in the first place. But here you'll see I'm doing pretty good at what I'm doing. I use my quick cast, which is number 6 on the top bar, every time it comes up. If there's something that I need to do, like a um, power tap, or I need to life tap, or I need to pull multiple mobs, Whatever it is, I'm always pushing that button when it comes up so that I can maximize my class. So that's something that I'm really loving about this is that I feel like I'm always busy doing something. I'm always juggling the amount of power that I have. I'm also juggling the amount of health my, my pet has. And so it just keeps me busy and that's something that you don't get a lot from some other classes. The other class that I want to show you, which is going to be in the next video, is a Friar. Friar was the main class character that I played in live, and I played him all the way up to 50, and played him as a primary character, didn't have any other characters but him in live. I, I didn't like changing, uh, changing classes, I didn't want to have bots, I didn't have secondary characters, I just had my Friar, because he was able to pretty much take on anything that I wanted. Also, he was good in RVR and so on. So, like I said, next class that I show you is my Friar, and hopefully you'll like that as well. If you have any questions or want any information on this, if you actually play on the Genesis server, which is what this is, or if you want to play on the Atlanta server, let me know and I'll get on and play with you. I'm usually on on the weekends for uh, Genesis and I play Atlantis during the weekday because it has no population and allows me to just rest and relax and play the game where on Genesis I like to be more astute and pay attention to what's going on and try to get into some RVR as well. Anyway guys, I hope you're doing well and I hope you have a great day, a great night, and a great morning. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.